so now let us talk about uh, sorting algorithms we have uh, prepared a basement so that we can actually jump to our actual data structure things so we will see how to sort items so what is sorting sorting is always uh, done with some values which are in hand and we compare them and we'll see that every next number is either greater than or smaller than or other equal to the previous number and this is the list which is going on but there are some uh, different uh, words being used here like non decreasing and non increasing you might have heard about ascending order and descending order but in data structure generally people use non decreasing and non increasing order non in decreasing what do we mean by dot non decreasing this is basically similar as increasing non decreasing is actually increasing only but we allow multiple equal numbers for example this is a list in which we allow this 3 3 to be there so formally if we see uh, speak about our sorting in any array or list then for any i which belong to the set every next number should be either greater than or equal to the previous number what are the applications of uh, sorting because sorting is heavily used most algorithm use sorting first of all for a beginner for a person who is not aware of data structure and he want to understand the algorithm design and analysis concepts so sorting is the is the starter actually a sorted array may, is always uh, you know good to see because human usually prefer sorted data to to be read and if uh, the list is sorted the the search also become very easy so binary search also you know if you are um, array is sorted so you can do this binary search easily also you can discover patterns and statistics like uh, median or uh, various other related uh, computations sorting also helps in comparing to different uh, list uh, see whether the duplicacy or not there are similar element so this you can do if you remember we, in earlier discussion we have uh, or with the starting only we have introduced that see you have a list which is unsorted you have a list which is sorted now you are two people who who are actually uh, trying to find out a number so which one will be good at you know we we generally see that the sorted numbers or sorted values it is always easy to work upon it or to work with it and that is not with the unsorted list but uh, we also introduce that in various cases unsorted lists are also required right so if you want to find a position n in a sorted list then order of n will be or uh, will be the time if we uh, reach to the because if the number is there we will find otherwise we will go to the n we will reach to the n but here is a uh, this order of n is what i am telling you i'm i'm just uh, giving that example finding a number finding a single number in a single list will be order of 1 it will not be order of n but when you have two list when you have two list and you have you want to compare them and they are similar list but you want to compare whether they look equal or not they have similar number or not so what do you do you start with the first number and you check for the first value if they are sorted because you know in sorting one number is going to come after the other and the other number if it is different we can surely say that these two uh, list or the values which are talking about on this sorted list they differ so the list they differ but if we have a unsorted list there is a trouble what is the trouble for every element for every element i have to see all the elements here to verify whether this element lies here or not so finding you know in in first in just comparing in a sorted list it will be only order of n time but for unordered list it will be the order of n square because we have to check for all n every time for this n 
n number n number of values for n times so n into n that is n square but there are various uh, you know ways we can inform um, or improve upon n square so we will see about n log n time also algorithm sorry algorithm which is uh, n log n so this is famous interview question about uh, this complexity of algorithms and so specifically sorting algorithms then we see that stability we have all already seen there are two aspect first is once once you are performing some sorting the output the output must be sorted first is the output must be sorted and the second is this final list or the sorted list must contain all the numbers and only those numbers from which we have started okay but what about stability stability means once you perform a sorting then the sorting should be concrete it should be stable okay let me take an example if this is a list right red blue 5 1 and this 3 for this red this 3 for blue so for computer system for soft uh, sorting algorithm this 3 will uh, will be same so if you sort it it will give the same result but if i you know relate this 3 with a red value and this relate this blue with this 3 then how to how to actually check whether this is stable or not stability means every time i sort i should know, i should get this result only not this every time i do it so what is uh, the solution the solution is this with two examples i am taking uh, let me take let me answer this first that this is uh, by we can easily do it using our uh, string criteria or sorting criteria means the first number the value or alphabet in alphabetical order it should come first let me take a more general example that you want to uh, you know sort values in terms of gpa but there may be two two people who may be having the same name and may be having the same gpa so what to do then we can just check a and b values with some gpa if this is less than then it is okay otherwise if they are equal then you have to see that which name should come first so the name should in alphabetical order which should come first should be given the uh, this first value then the then the letter can be placed i hope you got the idea of, about stability now coming to bubble sort bubble sort means this is a tank now bubble starts from here and it reaches to the top every time so what bubble sort means that every time this number will be compared with this number and if if uh, depending upon the non decreasing and non increasing aspect it will compare and when the comparison is done if this is greater we will swap it swap mean swap means interchanging position so every time this will takes ta this uh, procedure we will apply and finally just by swapping and comparing we will at one iteration means one complete checking the final value means the highest value or the lowest value will be on the top so the number which we wanted to uh, be on the up the highest or lowest it has come to the surface or bubbled up that is why we call it as a bubble sort and in bubble sort what we do we check every number from every other number and we swap it if this condition is met we swap it otherwise not and we do it for all n all n but we do it n times because at for one time one number will come on the up on the on the you know front but all those values this has taken its position now next time we will try it for n minus 1 times and we will do it for just j which is always less, less than i means every every time a value will be here so next time two values will get their position next time three will be so this is how this bubble sort goes so we have this n and inside also we are going for n so n square order of n square the the complexity of this algorithm is n square but let me show you it in another way that what we are actually doing is we are this is 
order of i because see these are the values we are what we are doing is this is order of 1 and this is going for n times okay this is going for n times or you say this is going for i times actually it is going for i times so order of i and this order of i is going how many times this internal loop is going this is order of 1 this is order of it became order of i because of this loop and for the outer loop it will be all again going from 0 to n minus 1 so what we are doing is this is order of i the internal loop for loop and the outer loop will be taking it from 1 to n minus 1 so this is simply n n plus 1 by 2 simple uh, arithmetic uh, series addition but we have we will be taking n n plus 1 by 2 n is equal to n minus 1 so ultimately we will get this as a this will be order of n square so this is a quadratic uh, algorithm but the important and best part was that uh, bubble sort is the simplest to understand this is the starter for every every uh, uh, data structure or computer science person but this is the worst sorting algorithm we have so we will be talking about more sorting algorithms uh, shortly thank you so much take care